You guys hear that? The birds are singing their little hearts out right now. So peaceful. What is going on guys? I'm glad that you can make it back to another video. Currently, I'm in the Sawtooth Mountain Range here in Idaho and I've always wanted I've always wanted to come out here, so I'm super stoked to be here and I figured this is as good a week as any other, so here we are. Now, the weather is going a little bit back and forth. Earlier it was just completely dumping rain and then it cleared up and it was nice sunny blue skies. And then now it's, now it's starting to rain a little bit again, but we made it nonetheless. I'm excited to spend the next couple days here. I did get an Idaho fishing license, so I will be doing a little bit of fishing. A little bit of camping and some good old fashioned exploring. Look at that. Right over there, total blue skies. I think there's even there's even a rainbow over there in the distance. Over here. Can you guys hear that? It's raining. Gray skies and rain. It's actually really nice having this door that hole that stays open like that because it provides a little bit of shelter from the rain. I don't know if you guys have tried these, but they're really, really good. There's a couple flavors. It's just like this instant Indian food. Tonight is another pretty lazy night since we're getting close to sundown here. Oh, the water's boiling. Let me start the rice. Another cool thing about these things is you just you just heat up some boiling water in a pan or a pot or whatever, and you can actually just throw the whole bag in there and let it heat up that way. That way you don't have to get your pan or pot all dirty. Now, it used to say right on the bag, it said that you can boil some water and then put this in boiling water. It doesn't actually say that anymore. So I'm hoping that they didn't like change the packaging or something, and maybe they just stopped putting that because people were burning their hands or something on the bag. I don't know, but we're going to just we're going to we're going to just do it like we used to and throw this whole bag into the boiling water once it's ready. I don't know how appetizing that looks on camera, but it smells good. Let's give it a shot. I topped it off with a little bit of cilantro that I just happened to have for another dish that I'll be making. It's solid. It's really solid. This one, this one kind of just tastes like chili, to be honest. A little different than chili, but it doesn't taste as much like Indian food as the other ones do, but it's still good. It's actually starting to get a little bit chilly out. We are in the mountains in higher elevation, so I'm not surprised. Guys, do you, do you see how light out it is still? Right now it's 9.15 p.m and it's still so bright out. By far my favorite part of summer is just how late it stays light out for.
I don't have the iPad today, so I've just been reading for the past for the past little while, but getting really sleepy. That's a good thing about reading. It helps you get sleepy as opposed to using an iPad or a laptop or a phone or whatever. That keeps you awake longer. Anyways, I think I'll just see you guys in the morning. been thunder and lightning going on for the last hour hour and a half or so it's hard to sleep in this hopefully we make it through Guys, I just had a pretty good sized trout on there. It was like, probably like 10, 11, 12 inches or so. I couldn't really get that good of a glimpse before he slipped off the hook. I'm using a barbless hook right now. So that's why the fish just slipped off. I didn't even really realize I had a fish on until I was like halfway in. I realized like, oh, there's a little bit of fighting. I guess I do have a fish, but that's a good sign. That means that the fish are out here and they're biting. That was a good sized trout guys. I'm stoked, that was like, I think that was the biggest trout I've ever caught. So let's get back out there and throw a couple more lines in the water. There's another one. There's another one. Let's go, let's go. Size do we have here? Come on! Oh my goodness! This is a big boy. Woo! Jeez, guys, look at this guy. Let me just wet my hands again. Look at him. 
He's bleeding. Check out that fish, guys. That, that's a good trout. And I actually, I wasn't even planning on keeping any fish. I, didn't, I wasn't gonna do any kind of catch and cook today. But this guy was bleeding so much, he swallowed the hook. He was really bleeding a lot, and I don't think he's gonna make it, so I just put him down so he didn't have to suffer. So I guess, I guess this is turning into a little bit of a catch and cook. Beautiful trout. Very beautiful. Thank you, buddy. I didn't mean to uh, to end your life there, I'm sorry. All right guys, so here is the fish. I cleaned it up a bit, took the head off, took the guts out. I'm actually gonna attempt to fillet it. Usually I would just cook the whole trout at once, but since it's such a large fish, I'm not gonna be able to eat it all at once. So I'm gonna save probably about half and then cook the other half right now. Not the best fillet ever, but considering the fact that I have not filleted too many fish in my day, it's pretty good. There you have it, folks. Our two clean-ish trout fillets, fresh caught. All right guys, we are back in the truck now. The trout is cleaned up, it's on ice, it's ready to go. I'm about to head over to the next spot to cook them up. But first I just wanna talk about how this was, I think was this was my first time that I've ever been out on my own and caught a trout worthy of keeping. So not only have I not really had that many fish that I've caught and like cut open and cleaned and all that whole process. But on top of that, I was filming as well. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to film how I wanted to film it, so on and so forth. So if it felt a little bit scattered, I apologize in advance. But anyways, let's go cook this fish. All right guys, so what we're gonna be making is an open face trout sandwich. It's gonna be super simple. Since I wasn't planning on doing a catch and cook, I don't really have any other ingredients. I didn't plan on bringing ingredients specifically for catch and cook, so I'm just gonna throw together whatever I have. Um, it's gonna be very simple. It's just gonna be the trout with a little bit of seasonings and then some cilantro and some red onion, and that's gonna be on an open face piece of bread. that fresh, fresh caught trout. A little bit of salt, a bit of pepper, just a little hint of garlic. Also gonna do some raw onions mixed in as well just for a little bit of just for a little bit of bite. If you notice I left the skin on. That's because I don't want to waste any of this beautiful fish. That is, that is truly so, so good. Excellent, absolutely delicious. There's something so special about eating a fish that you caught with your own two hands and cleaned and prepared and it's just, I don't know what it is, but it's very rewarding as a human being. And it also just, it tastes better, straight up. 
very, very happy that I was able to do a catch and cook. Like I said, it was completely not planned. So it's cool that that's just how it worked out. And now, now my belly is nice and full with some fresh caught trout. like something out of a movie. Day just keeps getting better. This might just be the coolest camp spot that I've ever stayed at, guys. It's definitely in the top five, for sure actually in the top three, and maybe even number one. This is just, it's so unreal, guys. <laughs> Words cannot even begin to describe. This is the first time that I'm properly using this camper in the rear hatch, the rear barn door hatch. And I must say, it is completely out of this world, guys. <laughs> this is heaven. This is actually probably a glimpse into heaven. Or it is heaven. It's just heaven. You guys see that little blue jay? He keeps coming over here and landing on the on the hatch. And one, at one point he even tried to fly in. He literally was like inside here and saw me and turned around right quick. Let's see if he tries to come in here again. Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be making a tofu vegetable udon noodle dish. Now I've already cooked or like prepared food multiple times in this video, so I'm not gonna get that into detail and get that many shots of me cooking, but I will show you guys a couple steps along the way. And of course, I'll show you the end result. In the sauce, we're gonna be putting some sugar, some soy sauce, oyster sauce, some Worcestershire, however the heck you say that, and some ketchup. Got red bell pepper, yellow onion and some green onion going into the pan. I also got this coleslaw mix because it just had all the other vegetables that I wanted.
Well guys, this might just be the biggest noodle, the, the biggest bowl of noodles that I've ever had. Probably not, but it's up there. Is your camera set up? Me looks like I get to be on your YouTube channel. Yes, you are going to be famous. Woo! This is cool. YouTube I like. Now. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I wouldn't, but I'm a new. I'm a new person in life these days. If you have anything to uh, shamelessly plug, Instagrams, YouTube channels, feel free to right. tell the people. <laughs> feel free to mention them. In South Africa, do they do they say brew as as much as you would assume they say brew? Not that I remember. Like, what's that brew? Do you know? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No? That's such like a cliche thing. He I've said always something heard else that I can't remember. People from South Africa, instead of bro, they're like, what's up, bro? Bro? No. They said something <laughs> else that was like really unique. I can't remember what it was. We all went inside, went to the bathroom, came back out to the car, and we got a call from him, and he's like, get out to the gate right now. There's a lion, wa lion walking up the middle of the street. So we like book it out there. It was like this lion that had just eaten something and blood was dripping down its face. Whoa. And it was walking up the middle of the road, just like staggeringly, like drunkenly walking. It was the <laughs> coolest thing. That's it. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh. Oh. It's so cold right now. Oh my Lord. It's a lot colder than you would expect in the middle of June. Anyways. Ugh. I've just been chilling with my neighbors over here for the past couple of hours and we chilled at the campfire together. Um, but now I'm really tired. It's about that time for bed, so. Gotta get out a sleeping bag to turn off the light. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. All right, folks, and that is gonna do it for this video. Now, I am gonna be up here in the Sawtooth Mountains for the next few days, so definitely expect to see more videos out of this absolutely gorgeous area in the very near future. Thank you guys, like always, for watching. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.